Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Chris from FlipUsedCars.com and this is my second video on how to buy and sell used cars starting with as little as $500 to $1,000. Now you can cash in on the used car transportation boom. When you buy and sell cars, you will be very well served to cash in on this uh, recent huge ever-growing boom. Um, the cheap used car boom. Cheap used cars from $2,000 to $5,000 are hot and you will be selling them as fast as you can display them for sale. This has always been a very, very sweet spot. This has always been a, a great price range and if you will allow me to show you um, several reasons that uh, partly are economic trends right now but several reasons that are actually driving this segment of the used car market and one is there's very few excellent a credit buyers new car shopping in fact less than ever before if you have a credit if your scores over 710 or over 720 you can walk in almost any dealership and buy a new car you'll be financed by Bank of America this and that it's not a problem but very few people with a high credit score are interesting and interested in committing to 500 a month or six thousand dollars a year or a thirty thousand dollar car or more they're slow to spend their money they're wise there's people laid off right now and so on so the number two reason is the B credit buyer or the average credit buyer or the C credit buyer well there's no programs uh, right now you will see very few of those ads that say we finance anyone or you know anyone's approved um, the fat cats on Wall Street got rich on that program and those programs and those credit markets are are long gone um, th the third reason is 80 to 90 percent of new vehicle sales and the almost new vehicle sales so the slightly used cars or the CPOs and the new cars the certified pre-owned were, were financed so with 80 to 90 percent of them being financed and the financing gone people are looking for other solutions and again the two to five thousand dollar price range to buy and sell used cars in is absolutely the price range okay another thing if you guys are starting to get this there's so many reasons someone would want a car for eighteen hundred twenty four twenty eight thirty five hundred or even fifty five hundred selling cars like this is very hot and very easy typically you'll have two or three extra buyers on every car in that price range if you're doing it right and following the system you're gonna be telling a few people that that car is sold um, there's an old car guy saying it's anything bought right is already half sold so that's a little pearl of wisdom I also added a list of reasons um, transportation cars will sell very fast and very easily and if you want to notice some of them not all of them are related to our current economic climate um, one is it's actually become hip and cool to be smart or drive a smart car Huey Lewis said it's hip to be square um, kinda like that downsizing we have an unstable economy and a lot of people even when they're able to are not going out and buying cars like this they're actually buying cars that are you know just a respectable clean normal safe reliable car and it doesn't have to be a little Mercedes or make a little statement because really the only statement most of those people are making is I have a mortgage on my car I mean that's all that's really happened and went to a car show last week and there was a sign that said rust is a color anyhow I had a client send back her uh, full-size overpriced overinsured going down in value depreciating interest upon interest payment a uh, new car and she bought a little Lexus from me for twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars a shiny little clean white Lexus and she actually saved eighty four hundred a year based on the seven hundred dollars I think she said she's paying seven hundred a month for her car um, she looked a lot better without that monkey on her back and she called me she thanked me again and said she was able to spend more time with her daughter and work less hours people people are not interesting working interested in working five or six or eight or even ten hours of their work week for their car anymore okay so this is the trend right now
Now, you guys will have to focus and you'll have to practice and make sure, you know, that you don't make any dramatic errors and things. And as you follow my system, you'll find your cash, your confidence, and your resources building as you go along, okay? So uh, another reason cars are constantly in demand in this price range, the current car was damaged, totaled, or in an accident. Obviously, a $3,000 car is a great solution. Upsizing, believe it or not, we sell cars to sweet, sweet lower-income families that saved up for months or even years to buy that $2,000 minivan. Soccer, groceries, kids to school, dad to work, that van's going to be driven for years. It's just, it's nice. It's nice to help people, you guys. Cars break down and they wear out. Now, mechanics really exaggerate this a lot, and I don't think it's fair, but the people go, well, if the repair is too grand, and it really should have been 400 or five, but if the repair is too grand, I'll just buy another car for two or 3,000. And whatever the rationalizing is, it's new to them, it's shiny, it's a fresh, you know, it's a new pace for them, whatever, and um, repossession. The people that aren't, you know, able to make the $500 a month car payment or $350 or $600 or $800 or whatever anymore, and when their car gets repossessed, they're, if they're still working or even working odd jobs, they can save up $1,500 and two grand and, again, get a respectable, reliable car that does the same thing the expensive car did and just makes a lot of economic sense. So people getting repoed are big buyers for our cars. Bankruptcy, even the courts allow you a $3,300 or $3,400 car allowance. I think even the federal court understands that's a good price range on a car. Um, job loss is, equals loss of company cars. Okay, So for the people getting laid off at big corporations and losing their job, they have to give their company car back. Obviously, if the family's tied to, a, to two cars, it needs to remain at two cars so that person can go back out and seek new employment or do whatever he or she needs to do. So that's uh, the horrible fact that jobs are being lost and company cars are being given back is another factor for us. Divorce. Divorce is common. It's sad. I think it's at 55 percent right now and um, these families give their cars back or the wife or husband gets the car and the other spouse needs a car. So there you go. Transportation cars are king. In a good economy or a bad they're being bought for first-time drivers, getting the school, baseball practice, hired help, a quick fix, a temporary solution. Ghost grocery getters are here to stay, people. And um, as our country bounces back and money flows more freely, I'm hoping we're smarter and we avoid the uh, 500 a month or 6000 dollars a year in interest payments on a depreciating liability or a car. But anyhow. It'd be good for your families. Buy and sell used cars. It's good for other families and for your community. Keep it clean, moral, keep it legal, and have some fun. Um, happy flipping. This was Chris from FlipUsedCars.com on how to buy and sell used cars. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again.